Aquarius, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Chair TV. All right, Aquarius, what do you need to know about love? Sorry it's taken me so long to get to this. I uh, appreciate and value you and your support over the time that I needed. So thank you very much, Aquarius, and everyone else who's watching. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does resonate with you, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you join my channel. Each has its own perks, but the best price would probably be from Patreon. Aquarius. What do you need to know about love? They want me to... Unusual. Okay, we'll do it. Don't normally do it like that. I want me to cut the cards in that place. I gotta turn around. I'm sitting weird. Hold on. Interesting. Very interesting. What's the bottom of the deck saying? That's saying a lot. I kind of, yeah, I was getting that. So we've got that there was a lot of communication, a lot of checking each other out. There might have even been a, I don't know, I feel like it was moving a little bit too fast. went too quickly for one of you and that person's detached now take it how it resonates could be you could be them got a feeling it's them because you're the one watching this so if they detach why why would they want to watch it why is the world in reverse here for what you need to know right now now the world's about you know, completion and great things. It's a great card. It's not so terrible when it's in reverse. I just sort of feel like this isn't done yet. I'm getting that there's more, there's more not fun to come from this not gonna be fun tell me more what do you need to know just you buy the rest of the cards but yeah there's there's more coming this isn't great Aquarius this is not great this person um can I isn't this is you in the background they've pretty much done whatever they wanted to get what they wanted and they don't really care about your feelings they weren't really working with you they were working for themselves doing what they wanted i'm sort of getting with the the hero in reverse it, it sort of feels like Them wanting to have power in the situation, you know? There's like restrictions on you, there's nothing you can do because they wanted to have more power in the situation. You just kind of had to... had to sit and wait and see what would happen and any if, if you're the kind of person who would be like you know what uh what page are we on then where is this going is this a relationship are we putting a label on this that's where you get shut down nothing this is what's coming up in the near future more nothing more no communication whereas as it started off it was moving very fast it was great and then nothing 
Is there anything else you need to know right now? It just seems like you're always left waiting and you're always in the wrong. You don't get to have your say or your feelings. You're put in, in a sort of stasis. You don't know. You don't know what's going on. And it's not done yet with the world reverse. It's, it's not over. There's not been any sort of words said to end it, you know. I just, I need a cup of tea. I really need a cup of tea. And uh, I ran out of milk. So I, I used almond yogurt. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Just, just go to the shop and get milk. I wanted to talk to you guys, so I was like, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll go to the shop later. And now, I have a weird tasting cup of tea. But I need a cup of tea. Anything else you need to know right now? Torment. I'm not pulling anything good out here, my loves. And I sort of knew it from the world in reverse. It's over. It's done. You don't feel like it is. You feel like the words haven't been said to end it. I don't think they're going to be said. What's coming up in the near future? An Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. No, not a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's somebody else. Oh, shizzle! Hang on. That's a very clear message. Okay. Have you got a nice cup of tea? I don't have a nice cup of tea. Mine's horrible. Have you got a nice cup of tea? Put your feet up now. Have a sip of that tea. You're not going to get what you want from this connection. You feel like it's not done. You feel like there's more to it. There isn't. It's, it's, it's over. And when you realise that it's over, because it is, this person's just going to torment you. When you realise it's over and you get your head around that it's over and you can move on, something new will grow in the place of that death, that ending. This is the dead shall rise. I think this is them. I think maybe a Libra, Gemini or, or Aquarius. We've got the Page of Swords here. They're not great with expressing themselves, so they don't. This is somebody else. This is somebody else. This is like, you're not going to get anything out of this situation. It's done. The King's looking right at you. This King, look, they're looking right at you. This one is looking away. They're not interested. This one's looking right at you. This one um, isn't as exciting as the other one. So you're like, oh, I don't know. They're, uh, they don't elicit such feelings of excitement as the other one. Because you don't have to chase this one. This one's like, this one's a grown up. This one's like a little bit more pipe and slippers maybe. They like to cuddle in front of the TV. They like to go out for a nice quiet meal, perhaps, instead of, ooh, yeah. This is, by no means is this person boring. This person, like, sounds kind of perfect to me. That's just what I'm looking for in life, though. But you're sort of like, yeah, but the elusive king of swords. No. I'll get to that, I'll get to it. I want to sometimes jump the gun. No, I'll get to it, don't worry. 
I'll, I'll say this is what I was waiting to get to. Anything else you need to know coming up in the near future? <laughs> this all hangs on you. Oh, Jesus. Just, I didn't even look at that before I said that. This all hangs on you. So, we've got you. Sorry, I'm picking up too many cards. We've got you, and we've got your king. You're looking at your king, your king's looking, well, like, at you. Now, you could keep thinking about your your king. Swords going on, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, perhaps. If you keep thinking about them, you're going to be this. You're going to be the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. If you keep chasing after that that's what you're gonna be if you forget it and you let it go and you let something new grow in its place then you got your king and you're the queen and you got this this is what i was gonna get to the six of cups you want to look that one up i mean i'm gonna tell you what it means but sometimes it's nicer to have a good old look and read it yourself what the six of cups is look at this the little boy offering this cup to this little girl. It's, it's it's full of wonderful things, this cup. You look at the beautiful flower that he's offering to her, you know? And I'm getting that feeling that you get when you're a kid where you don't have anything to worry about. Everything's okay. So it's a simpler life. With someone perhaps that's a little bit more pipe, pipe and slippers, homely happy good feelings now if you were to continue to think about your elusive sword wielding i'm oh, sorry your elusive sword wielding person then you're just gonna have this you're just gonna have your ace of cups in reverse there's obstacles in the way there's blocks on it it's not happening Move on, is the advice here. Move on. Outcome. Hmm. Let's ask a little bit more about this. There's a little bit more. This, it's something you don't know. What you don't know. This is what you don't know. See the curtain behind her. Like more is to be revealed when that curtain drops. She's all knowing though. Why is the ace no ace of why is the high priestess here? What was I gonna say? The ace of That's very telling, isn't it? What was I gonna say? I don't even know what I was gonna say. Why is the high priestess here? The outcome. I'm going to take it into the outcome, right? I'm going to read it for you, but then I'm going to take it to the extended, where I'm going to ask about this sword-wielding person for you. How do they feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? I'm going to ask about their sign a bit more as well. Who are they? What kind of character are they? But I would say it would be better for you to get your head around forgetting about this person because you're just going to be tormented. They're just going to leave you waiting. And you could be happy with someone else. I'll take it to the extent of but I'll, I'll leave it there. But let's let's read this out. Why is the high priestess here? Yeah. Yeah. 
No, I can make it work. This is coming from you now. No, I can make it work. I don't want to let them go. Just let me have one more chance. I can make it work. I can do this. I can balance this. I can, I can, I can make it work. This is what's going to happen. This is what's always going to happen. This person is going to cut you out. You're going to be out in the cold. You're going to get the cold shoulder. But, like I, I don't know. It, everyone says it. It's like a saying. If you you don't know until you find out, you can tell your kids that they're going to get hurt by somebody. They don't know until they find out and they're just going to keep trying. They're going to keep pushing, you know, until they find out for themselves. And this is what's going to go on. I can tell you that the path you're going down is just going to get you hurt. And I don't want that for you. But I'm here for you if you do go down that path. And we'll drink some more tea and we'll play some more cards. All right, mate? Let's take some advice from the oracles look at the bigger picture how has this person treated you up to now i mean that first little flush of woo excitement that was great but since then since they got what they wanted and they ran off how have you been treated since then And your love lyric for the day is Double Life by the Cars. Great song. You think it's a face, but it's all gonna happen to you when you drive in the haze. Something about that song. You know, like, just some songs that make you a bit... Oh, that's one of them for me. There's just this bit where they, they sing, ah, and I just every time I'm like, I just, I love it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, see you next time. Bye.